Hello friends, welcome to day 22 of 30 inks in 30 days. Today's ink is Space Leica. So Laika was a husky spitz mix who was the first living creature to orbit Earth on November 3rd, 1957 aboard the Sputnik 2. So Laika and quite a number of other stray dogs were just picked from the streets of various cities. I believe Laika was found in Moscow and trained for the the Russian for Roscosmos space program and her temperament her training were such that she was chosen to go into space on that first flight now for years like up until fairly recently we were told that she died they knew she would die in orbit but the plan was for her to die of oxygen deprivation, which would have been a, well, a, a relatively painless death. However, she died between five and seven hours into the flight from stress and overheating. And the official records did not report this for a really, really long time. So again, I always think it's important to remember those that came before us, especially those participants who didn't know what was happening. And since her flight, she has become a cultural icon and you know really well known around the world. There's been many things commemorating her, books, film, postage stamps, and she is generally remembered as a hero of the space age. Look how that chromatography is going. And I forgot to say it earlier, but I am using my Conklin All-American in the Yellowstone acrylic with a medium nib. It made her think of Laika, the dog, the man-made satellite streaking soundlessly across the blackness of outer space, the dark, lustrous eyes of the dog gazing out of the tiny window. In the infinite loneliness of space, what could Laika possibly be looking at? And that is from Haruki Murakami's book, Sputnik Sweetheart, which I have never read. I should probably put it on my list. I think I've only read one book by Murakami, and it was um, hard-boiled wonderland and the end of the universe. So this is kind of a very chocolatey brown, and I wasn't sure when I did an initial color test in my other notebook if I liked it or not, but coming out of the pen, I think I really enjoy it. It's a nice, nice brown. I see no sheen or shimmer, anything like that, but some nice shading and very readable. I feel like it looks like a richer color on the Tomoe River paper as opposed to the swatch card, which is, you know, more of a absorbent art paper and then the chromatography strip is super interesting so it's got kind of that olive green at the base a little bit of a gray blue it actually looks that gray looks very much like yesterday's ink 
and then up to a very striking magenta color. That is it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you back tomorrow for day 23. Okay, bye!